him arrested when you knew he didn't do it, when you knew he was innocent. My boss needed a fall guy to cover his identity, Rick fit the bill. He was killed in custody because he shouldn't have been there because you had him framed. My daughter's father is dead because of you. your Thanksgiving, honey? Uh, pretty much a non-event. TJ and I went to the movies. Basically anything to keep his brain occupied until he could get back on campus. So you didn't spend any time with Sean or his mom? No. Do you want to talk about it? It's not really my story to tell, you know? I do know. But anyway, TJ went back to his dorm and I came here so I could get some work done. You couldn't study at Sam's? Oh, Danny always wants to play, and I can never resist him, so until he goes to bed, I'd get more done if I work here. Did you guys have a good Thanksgiving? Actually, um, I had to cancel uh, going to Sam's, so Sam and Danny spent the day with Patrick and Emma. Oh. Well, if you weren't with Sam, where were you? I was with Julian. Roger. I thought you ended things with Julian that you were dating Ned. Well, Ned isn't very happy with me right now. Why? Because you spent the day with Julian? Yes. Although the point wasn't to spend time with him. Okay. You're being really vague and confusing. The bottom line, Molly, is I didn't spend Thanksgiving with anyone because Julian and I were too busy rescuing Luke Spencer. Nice. Julian knew Luke was captive in Miss Cavage and that he'd been there since last January? It's complicated. Is Luke right? As far as we know, but obviously he's been through a lot. Well, who is this other man, the imposter? What? There is really no easy way to tell you this. The man pretending to be Luke was Julian's boss. No, Julian said... You were right, Molly. You were right all along. Your father was innocent. Rick was not Julian's boss. Dad was innocent? He didn't do any of those horrible things Julian said? He was framed, honey. You were right all along. I knew it. I knew Dad wouldn't get mixed up in the mob again, but no one would listen. Sorry. What are you doing? Don't touch me. Hi. Molly, please. Let me... You think you can apologize and that makes everything okay? My dad would be alive if it weren't for you. No, no I didn't. No, honey, I didn't know. I, I begged no you to defend what? Dad, and you wouldn't. You refused to believe he was innocent. You insisted on believing Julian I instead, know. even though you knew he was a liar. Molly, I know I should have listened to you. I trusted Julian. I shouldn't have, and if I could take it all back, I promise you I would. You've said what you need to say. Please just go. Hi, please don't do this, please. I love you. Yeah, I love you too, but right now I just can't look at you without seeing my dad in a body bag. I'm sorry. I just need some time, okay? I'll see you at home. If you have a room, we'll be spending the night with this again. That didn't take long? Piece. Yeah, exactly. Right, I want everything done by the book. I don't want this lawyer finding anything wrong on our end, all right? You got it. Thanks. Alexis, um, you'll be able to speak with your client in a, in a little while once he's been booked, okay? I didn't come here to help Julian. I just spent an hour explaining to my daughter that he framed Rick and that he's the reason her father is dead. I came here because I would like to hear any updates that you have about the man All right. impersonating this. There's something you need to know. I know. Did you find the man impersonating Luke? Yes, we did. I'll fill you in on all that. Um, can you just... Can you just tell me? 
I just need to talk to you about something. Are the girls okay? Yes, of course. What's wrong? Something I should tell you about Rick. He didn't 